IELTS Life Skills A1 Spells Visa Test. Candidate A, Amina. Candidate B, Noor. This is IELTS Life Skills A1 Speaking and Listening Test. My name is Angelina. Candidate A, what's your full name? My full name is Amna Jamshed. What can I call you? You can call me by my name, Amna. Okay, can you spell it for me? Uh, yes, I can. A M N A J A M S H A I D. Where do you come from? I come from Chan. And what do you do? I am a student and I am pursuing my degree in BS Political Science. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Uh, could you tell me about the weather in your country? What's the weather like in your country? This day is getting cold as it is now December, so it's quite cold. Okay, and what are your usual winter activities? Um, my winter activities are like, I'm very lazy nowadays, so there's not much activities because it's a very cozy environment. So I just want to stay home while doing some household chores, uh, such as I am learning now cooking, I'm now making winter food such as soup, and uh, I grilled fish at home. I'm just, uh, my mother is teaching me uh, some winter food too, because in UK there is uh, all the time winter so she's uh, making me to learn uh, some winter foods too. Uh, all right. And uh, could you please tell me about your favorite meal of the day? Uh, my favorite meal of the day is dinner. At that time, all our family members are together sitting and we do eat together and enjoy gossiping. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate A. Candidate B, what's your full name? My full name is Allowed. My full name is Akseno. What can I call you? You can call me Noor. Can you spell your name for me? Yes, sure. A K S E N W R Akseno. Where do you come from? I'm from Lahore, Pakistan. What do you do? I'm a housewife. Mm hmm. Okay, so who is your favorite famous person in your country? Uh, my favorite uh, person, my favorite famous person in my country is Imran Khan. What do you like about your neighborhood? Uh, 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 my neighborhood, they are so kind and uh, uh, nice. Uh, Alicia is my neighbor. She's also so kind and uh, nice. She uh, uh, went to college with me. Neighborhood beautiful hood. Here's your house, the area surrounding your house. That is your neighborhood. Neighbor with an R is a person. Like I live next to your house. So I am your neighbor, right? But neighborhood is the area or the community where you live. That is your neighborhood. You might have shops in your neighborhood, maybe a restaurant in your neighborhood, a park in your neighborhood, a gym in your neighborhood. Maybe you have trees in your neighborhood, flowers in your neighborhood, so many things. So what do you like about your neighborhood? And there are a lot of things that I like in my neighborhood. Like uh, there are a lot of shops. There are also a small uh, restaurant. There, uh, I like it very much. Uh, there is also uh, a small park um, where I go for a walk. Okay, all right. Uh, do you think it is important to exercise? Yes, uh, exercise uh, makes us healthy, so it is really important uh, to do exercise daily. Okay, what time of the day do you exercise? Uh, actually, uh, I like to do exercise uh, in morning. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate B. Now, first, candidate A will question candidate B about life in the countryside. For those who do not know what is life in the countryside, just like Noor, countryside, beautiful, is village life. Do you understand, Noor? Okay. Uh, just like, have yes. you ever been to the north of uh, Pakistan? You might have seen, um, you know, on hills, houses, they're very far apart. Right? Countryside is not very developed. There are not many facilities in there. 
The biggest part is city. After that comes a town. Towns are smaller, right? And after that, village. And then comes the countryside. If there are 1,000 houses in a city, there are about 500 in a town. There are about 100 houses in a village. And then the countryside, maybe just 20. Do you understand the concept of city, town, village, and countryside? Okay? So life in the countryside, if this word is new for you, you can just use the information that you have for village life because it's very close to it. Okay, so uh, candidate A will question candidate B about life in the countryside. And candidate B will question candidate A about sports you like to play and sports you like to watch on TV, right? So candidate A, please ask your questions from candidate B about life in the countryside. You only have two minutes and your time begins now. Okay. Uh, Noor, uh, did you ever visit the countryside? Um, and yes, uh, uh, I had visited uh, it once in my life with my family. Okay, so how often do you visit? Yes. How often do you visit? Um, I'll go, uh, I go countryside once in a month. Oh, okay. Uh, what is the traditional uh, dress code of the side? Where you visited? They mostly wear shivarknis. Uh, shivarknis is the traditional dress. Okay. So uh, tell me about the lifestyle of the people in countryside. They are very simple and noble people. They uh, live in small houses. Um, and they wear simple dresses. Uh, and they live a very, very, very simple life. Okay, so tell me about the uh like uh tell me about the uh infrastructure uh like uh, uh what is the infrastructure uh in the countryside where people live infrastructure infrastructure means roads and buildings okay no word infrastructure means roads and buildings how something looks like yeah. We call it infrastructure. It's like a little bit difficult English, but she's just asking you, how are the buildings? How are the roads uh, in the countryside? Um, uh, and uh, the buildings are very old uh, and, and the roads are also very old there. Uh, uh, like no one... <coughs> Uh, the buildings are all there. Uh, these are uh, also simple buildings. Okay. They are because uh, the people are not uh, modern there, so they also build a simple building, and, and the road are also very simple. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate A, for your questions about life in the countryside. Now, candidate B, please ask your questions from candidate A about sports. She likes to play and. Sports she likes to watch on TV. You only have two minutes and your time begins now. Alan, do you like to play games? Uh, yes, I like to play games. I like to play cricket. Like I play cricket with my family and with my friends. How often do you like to play cricket? I like uh, twice in a month I do play. Like uh, in Kanate, uh, there is a cricket, uh, you know, uh, society. So, sports society, uh, which I joined. So, I play twice in a month there. Okay. Do you like to play hockey? Uh, no. Um, yeah, it's a national uh, over uh, sport, but I don't like to play it. I don't know how to play it. So, uh, and do you like to play table tennis? Uh, no, I don't know how to play it, but uh, I once uh, tried. Okay, what, what kind of game shows you like to watch on TV? Uh, on TV, of course, I like to watch cricket and uh, whenever there is an India and Pakistan match, there is a Zealand zest at our home, people are like crazy about that match. So I just like to watch India's Pakistan match on cricket on TV. How often do you watch game shows on TV? 
um i really watch uh, game shows on tv uh, because uh, whenever i watch tv i see dramas on tv i accept from uh, cricket on of india pakistan match and do you like to watch game shows on tv no i don't like to watch them that's boring uh, what about volleyball do you like to play volleyball uh no except cricket i i don't like to play any game and yeah i uh, oftenly play football with my brother why you don't like to play different games uh yeah people have different preference so i just like to play football and cricket uh, depend on my mood uh what kind of game shows uh, or uh games do you like to watch on tv oh i told you before that i don't like to watch game shows on tv except from india pakistan match and some football when there is a fifa world cup do you have and any my... interest in games uh yes when i am free i play games on my phone uh, like uh, candy crush or many other games which i downloaded i play in my free time any other question there is there is another game you like to play uh no except these thank are you, thank you thank you thank you so much candidate um b for your questions now candidate a and candidate b please discuss for 3 minutes the topic eating out with family or friends please you have 3 minutes and your time begins now eating out shall we start now yes okay so how often do you go out for eating um i go out twice in uh, uh, a month how often no. do you uh, do you go to uh, out for eating actually i am a foodie person so i go out a lot my family and friend like once a week uh, surely uh, because um, i'm studying in university so from university my uh, i go with my friends to you know have uh, some good food to do eat do you like to go to restaurants for uh, eating something uh, uh, sorry can you repeat again do you like to go to restaurant uh yes uh, uh i uh, of course i like to go uh restaurants i like to explore new restaurants so whenever there is uh, when we know there is a new restaurant open in lahore or any uh, other side so we just go there on their opening and we just so invite what is your favorite dish you like to eat most uh, my favorite dish uh, like really is is chinese food uh, i like dumplings and chow mein you tell me what is your favorite food to eat when you are out I like to eat pasta when uh we are go uh out. Okay, do you prefer to go uh, out with family and friends more often? Like, uh, with whom do you go out? Uh, I I like to go out with both. Like, I also like to go with my family and also with my friends. What about okay. you? Mm, I go uh mostly with my friends because I have a small family, so my brother stay busy, and my I don't like and do you go like with to go my with your husband. Uh, he came Pakistan twice a month, uh, twice a year. Sorry, so uh, yes, with him I go a lot. Like we don't stay at home; we are just out whenever he's in Pakistan. Yes, I love to go out with him and eating and stuff. Uh, he doesn't know. uh like the food of okay, pakistan have you ever eat street food yes do you like to eat uh, street food uh yes and in andron rohor uh, last month i went there with my husband you tell me which is your favorite food in uh, when when you are out with uh, friends and you go to street food because in street food there's a different uh, you know uh, cuisine than food so what you like to eat in street food um i like to eat golgappe yeah same golgappe are too much tasty so tell me uh, do you like to explore new restaurant or there is any restaurant which you explore and you didn't like the food there there are a lot of restaurants so uh, um, when i want to go out i uh, like to go different uh, restaurants okay 
So which is your favorite place in Lahore and which is your favorite cuisine? My favorite restaurant is Haveli restaurant in Lahore. Okay. And, and what is your favorite cuisine? They're like Chinese, continental, Italian. Uh, I love to eat this. Okay. okay. So... Do, do you like to go with your children? Actually, I don't have any children right now. I just married uh, eight months ago. So I am I have no children right now. But in future, thank inshallah. You, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, candidate A and candidate B. This is the end of the speaking test and you have successfully passed. Candidate A, uh, from the first recording, where is the first speaker? Where is the first speaker from the first recording? Can you see the screen or not? Is it visible? Yes, I can see. Okay. Yes. All right. Candidate A, from the first recording, where is the first speaker? At home, at a shop, or in a classroom? Candidate B, where is the second speaker in the second recording? At home, at a shop, or in a classroom? Let's listen to the recording now. Else life skills. A1 speaking and listening test. Recording one. Hey, welcome to my place. It's got five bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a big backyard. On Mondays, I like to invite my friend, who works at a shop over, for a game night. We usually play video games for a few hours. By the way, I'm actually studying English at the UKSC Language Center down the street. It's been really helpful for improving my speaking and listening skills. Recording 2 Hey, welcome to our learning center. I love studying English here at the UKSE Language Center. My study area is in room 16 on the second floor. There are 25 desks and a projector in the room. On Tuesdays, we read parts of a book and answer some questions. I spend about two hours studying for exams and doing homework each day. Now listen again. Right, candidate A, from the first recording, where is the first speaker? At home, at a shop, or in a classroom? They are at home. Thank you. Candidate B, where is the second speaker in the second recording? At home, at a shop, or in a classroom? <coughs> the speaker is in a classroom. Thank you. Now listen again and answer these questions. Candidate B, from the first recording, how many bedrooms does the place have and what day of the week does he invite his friends? Candidate A, from the second recording, what day of the week does the man invite his friends and how much time does the woman spend doing homework each day? Let's listen to the recording once again. It's life skills. A1 speaking and listening test. Recording one. Hey, welcome to my place. It's got five bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a big backyard. On Mondays, I like to invite my friend, who works at a shop over, for a game night. We usually play video games for a few hours. By the way, I'm actually studying English at the UKSC Language Center down the street. It's been really helpful for improving my speaking and listening skills. Recording 2 Hey, welcome to our learning center. I love studying English here at the UKSE Language Center. My study area is in room 16 on the second floor. There are 25 desks and a projector in the room. On Tuesdays, we read parts of a book and answer some questions. I spend about two hours studying for exams and doing homework each day. Now. All right, <laughs> candidate B, from the first recording, how many bedrooms does the place have? There are five bedrooms. And what day of the week does he invite his friends? On Monday, he likes to invite his friends. Thank you. Candidate A, from the second recording, what day of the week does the man invite his friends? Uh, actually, uh, the first question which I wrote, uh, I couldn't hear properly, but uh, I can answer it. It was Tuesday. 
can anyone else help me? Is it Thursday or Tuesday? What day of the week uh, does the man invite his friends? Mm, can anyone confirm, please? From the class, Sadia, can you confirm? From the second recording, what day of the week does the man invite his friends? Uh, no, ma'am, I'm sorry. Uh, it was no uh, no recording, sorry. Uh, I couldn't hear properly because in back was uh, there was... Recording. A... It was yours. Because second time when you hear, you hear this. The, this you were candidate A, Amina, right? Yes, yes. So candidate A answers from recording two second time. Yes. You had a mistake, I think, probably misunderstanding. Let me check. Room 16 on the second floor, <laughs> studying English here at... Speaking and listening skills. Recording two. Hey, welcome to our learning center. I love studying English here at the UKSE Language Center. My study area is in room 16 on the second floor. There are 25 desks and a projector in the room. On Tuesdays, we read parts of a book and answer some questions. Yeah, your answer is correct. Okay, and uh, my next uh, question to you is, how much time does the woman spend doing homework each day? Uh, she she spent two hours. Each Thank day. you so much. You both have successfully passed. Congratulations. Good job.